Welcome to this episode of YouTube where we're celebrating Bolts' sixth birthday. And things are getting a little bit better for Aiden. Uh, we have been talking about in the last few weeks how he's gained more confidence, come up towards the front of the building. He's obviously resting quite comfortably in front of the building. You see him there almost on a daily basis now. We keep building up cover hay here because temperatures, again, last night were below zero. So we are uh, continually kind of in this keeping wolves comfortable mode. And so we are seeing him try to gain a little bit of status back. We've seen him charging bolts quite a bit, especially around food. So we know that he's getting a little bit more food possesses. As you've been following the last couple of weeks, he's able to take a carcass or possess a carcass, drag it up to the top of the cover hay. We're also seeing a little bit less of the signals of dominance. That was a standing urination there by Axel where we'd been seeing Axel doing raised leg urinations, which is usually a sign of confidence with the wolves. And there's Bolts coming over to investigate and Aiden doing a slight lip curl. Notice his ears are pricked and turned sideways, so he's not all that confident, but that lip curl was enough to tell Bolts to back off and stay off of his area. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now is possessiveness. And obviously there are still some social times, but uh, they're usually involving these four, so the Arctics and Bolts and Denali having some rally. This one actually happens to be over food. What's interesting here is Bolts seems to be reverting to some real juvenile behavior himself, doing food begging to Denali. Matter of fact, submitting to Denali and um, doing what we call obnoxious submission, which is kind of what this is looking like. So this is a little bit of a combination. Could be some food, but also we see Bolts' confidence is being impacted a little bit as well. And so it doesn't look at this time that Bolts is in a position of taking over leadership. And as a matter of fact, he seems to be deferring a lot to Denali. So that's kind of triggered Axel to start acting up a little bit. And actually Axel and Grayson the other day uh, were, uh, you know, um, identified as being a little bit antagonistic, I guess is the best way to describe their behavior, but uh, grabbing bolts and pulling them off the pump housing and again just posturing, just being juveniles that are posturing for dominance. But like I said, we are keeping the cover hay because it's definitely still comfortable for the wolves to have that. And this is like a big ice cube. There is frozen ground everywhere. There isn't a there isn't an inch of really soft insulating snow. This is hard rock snow that thaws during the day and freezes solid at night. And so we want to make sure that the animals are comfortable. That's the least that we can do. The other thing is that it kind of gets them a little bit grouped into a social network. So here's Bolts, and there's Grayson, and then Axel, and then Aiden. And so it's nice that they're all seeking comfort in the same area. It kind of mentally keeps them together, even though Aiden doesn't always want to interact with the pack. But one thing I did witness, and I didn't get it on camera, uh, the other day, the pack kind of ran up the side of the hill, which they do, um, chasing bolts or chasing somebody. And Aiden followed, and he really wanted to chase after him, uh, but still a little bit too intimidated. But he did the prancing, kind of that uh, stiff leg jump, uh, looked like a bison calf, you know, uh, trying to maneuver his way around. And it was, it was really, I think, um, positive for us to see him mentally want to run with the pack He's been doing short charges of bolts, uh, you know, especially food related, but he just hasn't had the confidence to join in on some of the more social gregarious uh, behaviors. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, like I said, these four are together and you kind of wonder where Denali is. Well, Denali um, does what he likes to do, which is take over the largest space and uh, have it all to himself. So he's on the pump housing. No doubt he's probably got a cache he's laying underneath there, but he's taking it all in stride. He doesn't seem like he wants leadership either, so I think it's going to be left up to one of these two yearlings to run this pack um, if Aiden does uh, retire. So a lot of people are asking me, you know, uh, are we through the worst of it? I'd say yes. I think Aiden's going to stay within this pack probably through the summer, but as the hormones ramp up in the fall and last year we saw it in September where they really started to turn the tables on Aiden I think that's when we have to be prepared to be able to transition not only Aiden but maybe even Denali um, into retirement again they're going to be 10 on April 27th so that's a good timing but they are howling as a group and here's 
witness of that. So you can see all the pack members howling. And notice how Bolts ran right over to Denali and tried to submit a little bit. So that was kind of an interesting uh, response. There. So over in retirement, uh, we are seeing Luna allowing a little bit of body work. Uh, that's something that she's been a little bit reluctant to, and staff, again, are trying to figure out what feels good for her and, and what doesn't. And she's great about telling us. So I think someone had, had contacted me and said, you know, is it normal for Luna to grab people's hands? Uh, yeah, when, it, when she doesn't feel comfortable, she knows, and she lets us know that this is not good for her. So today... In this clip, she's feeling pretty relaxed. She's allowing body work to be done on that back right leg. Um, you can almost see kind of a little bit of the relaxation in her leg. She kind of repositions herself. And certainly that's something that we want to be aware of. We talked last week about a lot of the extras hair that we need to start working out and she still has that scratch reflex. So fortunately, Carhartt uh, company had donated some coats to us a while the way, a way back. and. Uh, Carhartt coats are necessary when you got toenails as long as Luna. Uh, we are working on uh, hopefully by the end of the month when things warm up a little bit and she's a little bit more relaxed, we're going to try to clip her toenails. That is not an easy task for Luna. So that's a really good thing. And like, like I said, we, we want to make sure that she has uh, extra work uh, this time of the year when it starts to warm up. She's probably been a little stiff from all winter. It's been really icy been a little bit problematic for these two in the ice and so I want to make sure that she is you know getting the work that she needs and it's her right side that's kind of problematic um, so what you're looking at here the scratch reflex that's her left leg so no mobility problems with the left leg at all. Grizzer is doing great uh, again he's going to be 14 on May uh, 5th and he um, he's had a good winter again same kind of thing a lot of cover hay for these guys to make sure that they have a good resting spot. You'll see them a lot on camera right now resting, kind of following the sun around. Uh, girls are very cautious about where Luna goes, um, what Luna's up to. There are times when Luna has um, still has food resources left where Grizzer eats first, and uh, that causes Grizzer to be very wary of her because she's been known to charge him. But... He's pretty attuned to, in tune to what Luna's doing and where she's going, and he's moving on pretty well as a 14-year-old can, can move in a northern Minnesota winter. So spring is here. So just a reminder that wolf care donations are always accepted for birthdays in honor of each of these individual wolves. So we have Bolts' birthday on March 17th. Luna is March 25th. Aiden and Denali are April 27th. Grazer, Grayson and Axel are May 2nd, 
and Grizzer wraps up the birthdays with May 5th. So thanks for watching.